Hi there! Today we're going to read The Fabulous Friend Machine by Nick Bland. Popcorn was, quite simply, the friendliest chicken at Fiddlestick Farm. She insisted on saying hello every morning to every animal on the farm. She used words like wonderful, fabulous, splendid, and fine, and brightened everyone's day. She was wonderfully kind and fabulously helpful. And she told the most splendid stories at milking time. Popcorn was so friendly, she even won a prize for being the friendliest chicken at the farmyard fair three years in a row. And every year she gave her medal to someone who needed it more. Popcorn was, quite simply, the friendliest chicken at Fiddlestick Farm. One morning, while Popcorn was visiting the horse, she was dazzled by a light in the corner. It was coming from a tiny little screen and on the tiny little screen was an even tinier envelope. Popcorn tapped the envelope and the word popped up. Hello, it said. How wonderfully friendly, she thought. She sent a message back, hello. Then another message arrived, then another and another and another. Hello, 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 hello. Splendid, she thought. It's a fabulous friend machine. Popcorn went to morning tea with her friends as usual, but she was so busy sending messages she didn't even look up to say hello. The cow found her no fun at all at milking time, and she almost got run over crossing the road. Hello, 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 hello. The more messages Popcorn sent, the more she received all day and all night. The next morning, Popcorn decided she wanted to meet her fabulous new friends. She invited them all to a party and completely forgot to invite her old friends. She made a great big double fudge chocolate cake and waited. When Pop but when Popcorn's new friends arrived, they weren't fabulous at all. They were wolves, and they didn't want to eat double ch fudge chocolate cake. They wanted to eat chicken. Lucky for Popcorn, her fabulous old friends came up with a brilliant plan to save her, and they arrived just in time. Grrr. The wolves ran back to the forest, and they took the friend machine with them. Popcorn thanked her friends, and the not-so-fabulous friend machine was never spoken again of again at Fiddlestick Farms. Well, almost never. The end.